Hello friends. Happy Friday. So I'm not going to be talking about this. You know what it is. Uh, you'll understand in a moment. I'm not going to be talking about a lot of things that I normally talk about. Because I got something on my mind and I want to try a little personal experiment here. Hopefully this will all become clear to you by the by the end of this video. As I'm sure many of you have many of you have uh, heard by now there has been a rather significant change in YouTube's monetization policy and I found that uh, literally overnight more than half of my videos were demonetized. Now, I want you to understand what that means. So I, I, I know you guys that haven't um, made the, the leap into monetization might have this idea that you know I'm sitting back raking in all this money and everything so I turned on monetization back in I think it was late January early February um, I talked about it in a video you can you can check the timeline if you want and the way it works is YouTube will you know you get money for each view if the viewer watches the commercial and there's all these different metrics that I don't understand and then at the end if assuming everybody's happy um, you get your money when once you get over a threshold amount which is one hundred dollars so I started this in late January early February I just got my first payment the end of June so you know the, the money's not rolling in but like I've said it's it's nice it's enough to sort of help keep the lights on in the shop and that's all that I wanted it to be all right, we gotta uh, I'm rambling before I drive I'm never gonna get home at this rate so let me let me pull out of here and then I'll, I'll get into more detail mm. by the way I, I warn you since the cataract surgery bright things are much brighter than they used to be uh, so I have to wear these. I know you probably thought I couldn't look cooler. There you go. All right. You know, I have this fear of doing this and looking in the mirror and seeing there's somebody standing out there listening. All right, so let's go home. And you can see it's a, it's a nice day today. It was hot. No. Nice summer day. Got up to, I think 92 was the high. And we're moving into the 4th of July week, which a lot of folks will probably be taking some vacation time. I personally am going to take off starting on Wednesday. So I will go back to work Monday and Tuesday, and those will be pretty light days because just about everybody else is going to be on vacation. <laughs> so, um, but to get back to what I was talking about, the, the YouTube monetization stuff. So, you know, I'm not I'm not one of these guys that's, you know, raking in lots of money and, and you know, all that. I just wanted I just wanted it to be something that I could use to sort of supplement what I spend in the shop um, to make YouTube videos. So, uh, you know, I, I thought it was a a nice sort of self-serving function that would keep things going and as I mentioned at the time when I decided to do it I felt that I needed to do something to make up for the fact that you guys were now going to be sitting through um, commercials and so I, I tried to you know make some new content one of those things being this uh, roadway ramble and you know I'm glad I did that but uh, 
now that it's all been demonetized, what's the point, really? You know, the whole thing is now thrown into um, into a state of futility. So I don't know where this is going to lead me. But it's going to be to a different place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's really easy to, you know, point a finger at YouTube and, oh, it's the, the nanny state and everything else. And, yeah, I get it. I get that that's a thing. Uh, you know, we live in a really weird time because, you know, I, I look around and I see... I look at my job, my job is very stable and secure right now. Um, we're expanding, we're building new sites, we're hiring people. Um, we're, we're doing extensive research, extent, it, it, everything is going well. And then I look around my neighborhood and I see new families moving in and houses going up and, and you know land being developed. I haven't been seeing this for a long time. You know, this is, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen this kind of, of positive movement in, in, in the world around me. And then I talk to friends around the country and, and I hear similar stories. You know, it's, it's a very positive time and things are really going well for a lot of people. Not everyone, there's always going to be someone that you know, not, not everyone can be successful at everything, and, and there's always going to be someone that's got a, 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 a hard luck story to tell. I get that, and, and it's our job to take care of those folks and, and pick them up. But, boy, there's a lot fewer people right now that have that hard luck story, and that's a good thing, and that's something we should be celebrating. And then I turn on the news, and it's not there. In fact, it's the exact opposite of, of what I'm expecting to see, that... There's, if you think that the news media is giving you the truth right now, you must be out of your mind. And I don't care which side you're on, there's just no way that you're getting the truth from these people. And, you know, I don't want to be lied to just because I like the lie, and I don't want to be lied to if I don't like the lie. So. Nobody wins. I want the darn truth. It's like the the media doesn't think we're smart enough to to see through this. And and then you've got uh, this debate the other day, which I, I didn't waste my time watching. But whoa, bunny rabbit caught in the traffic here. Come on, there we go. Okay. Hopefully you got to see that. Uh, you know, from what I read, it, 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 these people aren't even living on the same planet that we're living on, let alone uh, you know, keeping up with, with what's going on, being consistent with what the news is telling us. So, yeah, there is this, this, this attempt to shape reality going on. And... YouTube is complicit in that, and, and Twitter is complicit in that, and Instagram is, and Facebook and everything else. They're all part of this. And, you know, I'm going to sound like a wacky conspiracy theorist, but the fact is there is a there are a bunch of people out there that don't like the world the way it is and want it to be a different way. And they've decided that the best way to achieve that is to pretend that it is that way and to force people to think that that's true. And, and we'll do it by manipulating the media and by manipulating um, access to information on the internet. Okay. So that's the kind of world we live in, and YouTube is clearly complicit in that. So is that the reason they demonetized my videos and many other people's videos? I don't think so. I think this was really a business decision. You know, YouTube makes their money through advertisers. They don't charge us anything to make the videos. They don't charge you anything to watch the videos. It's all coming from, from advertisers. 
and the advertisers get to pick and choose what kind of videos they want to be associated with. And enough of those advertisers have said they don't want to be associated with the videos I'm making. Well, not a lot I can do about that. It would be foolish for YouTube to push through and say, oh, well, we're going to do it anyway because they're just going to lose the ad revenue. And who does that help? They need the ad revenue to keep running so that we can keep doing what we're doing. And they're not putting any limitations on, on what we can say. Now, there's a whole other story about whose videos are getting promoted and whose aren't and all that. I don't want to get into that. I, I don't care about that, to be honest, because, you know, i got a few friends out there that watch me consistently, and that's all I want. I don't have any plans of world domination through YouTube. But, you know, I, I think it's just a basic business decision. They need to keep their advertisers happy. Their advertisers do not want their ads running on a video that promotes certain things, and my video promotes some of those things, and I'm being careful not to say them, because I'm trying to see just how good the uh, the uh, sensors work when they're picking up what videos should and should not be demonetized. So, I'm okay with this. You know, I, I'm, I'm absolutely okay with it. It's not YouTube trying to control anything. It's YouTube just trying to survive as a company. And it's a sign of the times. The real tragedy is that these businesses feel this way. That these businesses don't understand that they're ignoring a large chunk of the demographic and that they think that we're in some way harmful. So, anyway, that, that, that's... I don't want to get into that. You got plenty of people that have talked about that. You don't need to hear me talking about that. So what am I going to do about it? Well, it's not a lot I can do. I mean, I can... I can continue doing exactly what I'm doing, and to a large extent, I will. You know, so I'm still going to do my weekend chats. I'm probably still going to do these roadway rambles. I enjoy doing them. I'm probably not going to do a lot more novel novel content related to our area of interest. I mean, what would be the point? I'm certainly not going to invest money in being able to do that. So I'm probably going to start to come up with alternative content. You know, things that interest me, that I hope will interest you. And it'll be interesting to see how that mix might play out. Um, so, for example, and I'm just choosing a ridiculous example here because there's no way I would do this, but if I were to start doing a cooking uh, series... Um, but still have my weekend chats in the basement and still do the occasional refurbishment and still have the Friday Roadway Ramble, would, would anybody watch my cooking show? I don't know. Uh, that's funny. I would not have a cooking show. <laughs> anyway, folks, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm making sense of all this. I'm obviously pretty passionate about it. Um, and, and not in a way that, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm really not down on YouTube for this. I do think they're playing games otherwise. I do think they're part of this let's change the world movement that uh, unfortunately just isn't grounded very well and they're going to change things and find that they've broken more than they fixed. So yeah, I got my problems with them. And for some reason my outdoor video just stopped. Maybe that's telling me I should shut up. 
I got my problems with them. But this isn't one of them. Anyway, folks, I hope that that made some sense to you. I know you're going to see other videos about this because it's going to obviously affect a lot of us. Um, I think my view on this is is the right one. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't be saying it, but I look forward to hearing other people's opinions. And the important thing is that we can still get together and enjoy one another's company and talk about the thing that we that we have in common or the things that we have in common. So with that, guys, I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out. I'm going to, I'm going to sign off. So you all have a, a great day and, and a great weekend. And I'll talk to you on Sunday. Take care.